Hi, my brother. Like I always start the podcast with my brother. You gonna say what you gotta say? Your first thing out my mouth, you know it's Jr. And um, let's drop Fisher's name so you can you know timestamp it and also fuck you, Jay. <laughs> Fritz hasn't been timestamping though. Did I? Yeah, the nigga been slacking. Yeah, he be doing it in his own head. He has his notes <laughs> on his phone, bro. He lying. <sighs> That's tough. But yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 48? That's wild. I think it's 48. We're almost at 50. It's crazy. Almost at 50 is nuts. 52 is one year around the yeah. one year of pods, bro. Because I do one every, every week. week yeah, yeah That's bro. That's nuts. Holy Never would have thought, bro. Shout out to y'all, man. Really? All y'all on TikTok. I think there's, I think we had 192,000, almost at 200k. That is wild. And Wait, I still don't got no merch, bro. Them, bro. They blowing them up. Yeah, but it's coming, boy. Don't worry, bro. I showed Jason. I just showed Jason uh, a couple minutes ago. I showed him the merch, so the merch is coming in. I was supposed to have it today, but it's actually coming in tomorrow. So samples gonna be in tomorrow. I'll probably make a video about it. And the next podcast, we're gonna be in another location just to let y'all know. So that's well, I, I got cut off. I said, Where? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga yeah. forgot. Yeah, we just, niggas is traveling. So we got new pods coming out, new things coming in the next week. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, follow the social down below. Follow us on Instagram at noregulars.podcast. Follow us on TikTok at noregulars. Follow us on all podcasting platforms at noregulars podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts, all that shit. I don't even think nobody listens to us on Google Podcasts. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know Google Podcasts. Was I didn't, thing, bro. To be every with you. bro, you know, like everybody has like a podcast and shit. Yeah, like Amazon got one. Fucking um, what's that other shit? I think H low key. I think like HBO got some shit. I've never like hell. Only podcast platform I know is Spotify. That's like it. Spotify, Apple, like all the mainstream shits. But I mean, Amazon got everything. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, that they nigga, own the world, bro. That nigga Jeff Bezos, bro. He's up, super up. That nigga not real, bro. <laughs> but. If you haven't already subscribed down below, I think we almost at two. We had like two thousand subs. For real? Yeah, we up. Mm-hmm. Mm. We just started jumping. I know I ain't gonna That's lie. Deep. And I said we was gonna drop merch at a thousand, but nigga, Ooh. we had two thousand. Also, before we start, bro, nah, because that nigga DM me on Instagram, one of the people that watched the pod or whatever, bro, love the fucking love, bro. I had a dude. I'm about to shout him out because actually, I'm not gonna lie, she was really uh, what would he say? Uh, he said no regular. Like literally, I posted on my story. It had nothing to do. With no regular is nothing. He said no regular. I said no fucking regular. He said W podcast man. I said appreciate you. Glad we can entertain. His name is uh, Mari Middleton. If you're watching or see it, bro, shout out you for real. Appreciate the That's love, tough. man. That's People tough. like you, bro. Shit is heat, bro. Love that shit. Yeah, shout out y'all, man. You know you like like I said, y'all could DM us, talk to us. But there's one guy that called Tyrone. Called? Him? <laughs> yes, because Tyrone What's has how the fuck he has his number. Tyrone has his number on his Instagram, and he didn't know that. <laughs> And it was like a dude from Alabama. If you, if it's, if it's you, bro, comment in the in the in the comments because I want to know who it is. Because he thought it was me for like a good like for like a for like a good three days. He thought I pranked him because after he called me, I tried to prank call him, trying to show him like he had his number on his Instagram. That's funny as. Niggas like, bro, yeah. I thought I had my first fam. Like, bro, that wasn't me the first time. <laughs> he said it was a dude from Alabama. Shout out to you, bro. I, forgot, I forgot what he said his he, name was. You like that. Hey, if y'all want to, uh, you could, nah, don't call me. I'm sorry. But you could DM me. You know, yeah. I, always, I always, I always answer all the DMs, bro. They be, they be um, talking to me about like topics and shit. No, I see. Topics. This one kid pressed me. I forgot what, he, he pressed me about the merch. I understand, bro. Don't worry. I think his name's, yeah. like, don't worry, cuz it's coming soon, bro. It's also, coming real soon. real quick, talking about pressing, bro. I don't know if you watch frequently or anything, or you're just a weirdo that was on Discord, bro. <laughs> if you're trying to push pyramid schemes in the Discord, I'm going to tell you to go get a fucking job. You're a bozo. And this is me telling you to your face now, nigga. <laughs> Trying to respond to me, telling me what I'm talking about. Go get a fucking job, nigga. What no one wants to it? flip cash with you on fucking whatever the fuck. Was that like a, it was some gambling I don't shit? Know what he was talking about, bro. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to go 10 with you on a 25 deposit. No one gives a fuck, nigga. Go work. Give <laughs> real money. Hey, yo, nah, that was crazy. I seen that, and I just seen all y'all just hiking. I'm like, dang, literally. this is not the right place for that, bro. <laughs> the fuck was he doing? Like, we literally have a fucking shit called talk shit. Like, nigga, done yeah. fucked up, bro. But. What a, what I want to talk about this week? I had a lot of last week. I remember I was looking. Yo, I be going on Instagram, and you know, like the the um, world star shits. Yeah. I follow one of them. It's like my mixtapes, and they be having like hell like random like news articles, and they was talking about in Saudi Arabia they're making like a new like futuristic city. So like this is how it's like gonna a utopia type. Yeah, thing? but it's like all right. So the the city is basically gonna be in like a a glass like wall. And it's going to be stretched, like, I think, like, 100 miles or so, like, down. And it's, like, everything that you need is going to be, like, five minutes away, like, walking distance. And niggas is going to, like, live on, like, the wall type shit. 
on the wall? What yeah. you mean? Like it's like say say you see this box, right? Yeah. Say it's like flipped to the side and it's like you you know, you ever seen like an ant farm? Yeah, like, like a you know, beehive, like a beehive. Yeah, like that. That's how it's gonna be. Like every and everything's gonna be accessible. Like there's you gonna be like an elevator? Not May, I think it's an elevator. They said there's like a there's like a supersonic like train that goes that could go from one end to the other in like fifteen minutes. And it's like a hundred fifteen, twenty, thirty minutes. Right, so hear me out. If it's it's in a glass or whatever container, right? Mm-hmm. COVID breaks out monkey it's pox deep. and then you're done. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, it's you're done, done, done up. Nigga. But I I don't know how they're gonna do it. I seen a video about it. It's literally just like like a like a little not really a container because there's, the top is off. So, but it's just like oh, okay. it's just a place where it's like you just think of like a futuristic type of thing. Like you know, in Japan they have pods. Yeah. Think of it like that, and like the pods is like maybe a little house size, and it's gonna be like a city. And they're making multiple other cities to make it like look like the future type shit. And like on the outside of the walls, it's like a actual like a reflective type of glass type oh, shit. I read, it sounds like a, like another white person gated community, bro. bro a rich person, my bad. I mean, I guess, <laughs> yeah, hey, bro. I had a, like, Saudi Arabia, that's in the Middle East, right? Yeah. Like, just imagine, my nigga, like, looking at that shit. They're trying to make that shit look like, like the Jetsons. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That, that honestly just sounds like something for terrorists Do you think to target, bro. A terrorist target? So, something to target, bro. I don't know, bro. Like let me let me see if I can find up a picture about that shit. Why bro. wouldn't you want to? Let's say I'm a terrorist group. I want to make a statement. Why not bomb the first futuristic city? Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I'll be thinking about that about the Holland Tunnel. Like if I'm a, like no no crazy shit. If I'm like that's a crazy. if I'm a th- I would like that's like the first thing that I would go. Cr- <laughs> like a, like a t- like I'll be so scared like going through that shit. Like that I'm be- wild because they made a movie that? about that. If the Holland Tunnel blew up, or like, like uh, tunnel there was a movie like I guess people robbed a bank in Jersey and it was going to New York through the Holland Tunnel and like. They ran into a, a gasoline tank and that shit blew up inside it's the bro. It is. I, I mean, that's my biggest bro. fear: being stuck in a Holland tunnel, bro. Underwater, bro. You're like, fucked. hell no, bro. You're fucked. Like, just imagine. Like, every time I go through that shit, I'm just thinking, yo, just please don't, no, no, <laughs> ben, no, uh, Al Qaeda, whatever, fuck, yeah. don't come in this bitch and just bomb this shit, bro. It's it's called a linear city, bro. Actually, fucking speaking of Al Qaeda, real quick, fucking, I got a news alert literally today. It says a uh, U.S. drone killed Al Qaeda leader Amen Al Zawala in Afghanistan. He played a key role in planning the 9/11 attacks. Oh, they took him. What? It took him like ten years to find him. Yeah, I guess so. The hell? Twenty, nigga. Oh, twenty years. That yeah. was two thousand one. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, fucking America. See, look, this is how this is how the shit's supposed to look. Like do you, you see that what shit? The fuck? That shit looks like like a glass thing. That's how yeah. the the city is inside of it. That's wild. Oh wait, it's like skinny as hell though. Yeah, Honestly, that's like, a, like so. It's like everybody's gonna live like on the walls type. It's like a oh no, it's like a um, it's like uh, say it's like a bunker. Like you know when bunkers yeah. they got levels. Is I get I think it's like that. That shit better be indestructible. I'm telling Nigga, you, nigga, they gonna bomb us. Like, if I was a terrorist, I want to make my name known. It's the first futuristic reflective <laughs> glass hive city. I'm bricking that shit. <laughs> like, like done up. I don't know. Would you live in some shit like that, bro? Mm, Just no. think about. It. I think everything is like five minutes away. No. Like everything's walking distance. The grocery uh, store. I mean, yeah, but it's gotta get boring, bro. It's like you're in fucking like a box, bro, for your life. That's where you live, for real. I heard isn't Japan some shit like something like that? Oh look, look at this shit, bro. Like, you see this shit, my nigga? That's like the top. So it got like a top open, and like it opens up for the water. Nigga, look at that shit. That looks insane. That shit look cool as hell, bro. I wish I could see this. My freaking audio listeners, I might put up some pictures, but this yeah. shit looking nuts. This is a whole city, my nigga. No, nah, that's actually fucking wild. Oh my god, bro, they're gonna have flying cars in this shit. <laughs> hey, bro, we not we not too far off from that shit, bro. You don't think so? No, nah, I don't think so. I feel like eventually. I feel because like I I just feel like uh, how are you gonna get, like dictate and control traffic within the air with cars? That's, I, is that, yeah, I think. I mean, the sky police. Like, like, nah, I don't think so. I feel like I feel like if there's flying cars, it's gonna be like very limited, like amount. Yeah. Maybe like each company will have like phases, twenty. Bro? Yeah, niggas like that. Yeah. Like LeBron could only have a flying car, cause like imagine, you know how much laws that has to be made just for niggas flying in the air, cause you know niggas, you know, you know niggas, bro. Niggas gonna be niggas and just start flying niggas, around, <laughs> running into each other. Car crash. You wanna talk about car? Niggas, there's gonna be meteors falling from the sky, bro. I know. Be car engines falling from the sky. That's insane. Tires. That's crazy, bro. 
But well, I guess there wouldn't be tires because it's in the sky. But it's t- they could have tires. Yeah. You know, you ever seen the tire that like flips on like uh, it's like hovering? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think it'd be more like a hover, not like a you know kind of like a like a like a yeah, but like a hover sort of situation. It could be like, like that, but sort of I think that would happen in maybe like two hundred years. Give it another. Two thousand twenty twenty three. Oh yeah, it's D for us. We're gonna be in a whole we might be uh what's that called? We might be fucking uh birds. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna yeah, be actually. like a fucking bird, bro. But I wanted to talk about that because like you know, I be thinking I think I talked to you about it before, that people think that back in the days was like a futuristic mm-hmm. type of thing. But like there was like a there's a so you know how there's a apocalypse for every uh What's that called? Every religion and shit like that, right? Yeah. So supposedly, there's like a planet that's on another axis other than... Because you know how all of the planets are on an axis around the sun. So there's another planet that goes on a different axis. Every 3,000 years, it hits our planet and like causes like a big-ass apocalypse. So that's why back in the days, like we reached like every 3,000 years, we reached like a certain, like a peak of um advancement. So like the year 3000, because like you ever realize in TV shows, like I don't think I've seen a TV show, like if it's in the future, there's nothing past 3000. Like I've never seen like a 44, 45,000. Mm-hmm. It's always like, remember that TV show with Andre, was it Andre 3000? It was like a cartoon. It was like something by year 3000 with like a bunch of kids in a I band. I know the, the, the Jonas Brothers song. Yeah. Some, 3000. some shit like that. They only talk about 3000. I feel like that's like the end, like the end game for us. And like, you know, the, the asteroid belt. Yeah. They they said that there's rocks that comes from the crust of Earth because when the thing came through and knocked out the crust, when the planet came through, it knocked off all like the the surface crust, and that's what made like the um the last like uh asteroid belt. So you tell me there's a planet on our axis, well different axis that mm-hmm. we can't see. Supposedly, and they said it's gonna come once you see like two suns. Two suns. Like, like if that I see two suns up ending. That's my how. Life. That's how you know it's like the end of the world type <laughs> that shit. Sounds insane. Just bro. imagine, my nigga. Because I mean, back in the days, right? You know when niggas built the pyramids. Nobody yeah. knows how they built the pyramids. They definitely use something that's like we don't have that shit now. Mm-hmm. So like, what if like like that that plan is like a reset button? So we get our we at our peak like utopia status. That shit comes around. Knocks us back to the the um, square one, and then we gotta build ourselves back up, and it's just like a continuous cycle. I don't like that theory, bro. That's bad. I ain't gonna lie. Because like, because think about it, we had we already had two thousand. That's another thousand years that well, we have I'm left. I'm gonna be dead yet, but can you imagine being the dude that's alive for that? Like, <laughs> Seeing really that imagine. shit. Hey, what if they preparing for that shit? Preparing? What could you do to prepare? I don't know. Like, like they a have. Barrier, bro? There's a like, there's a up? there's like a group of people, cause like. Like there's a there was a guy I think he's from Japan or something like that and he made like a um he made like a a religion, low key occult, but like people <laughs> followed him and like they said that their their like apocalypse was like God comes down and picks up like a certain amount of humans when the apocalypse happens to like sit preserve like our race, supposedly. I think yeah, that's a bit far fetched. Yeah, I don't I mean, think I that's. You know, I don't it's think possible anything. Is, I feel but. like niggas is preparing for something <clears> though. Like if you like if the world were to end, how would you think the world would end? Like in any mm, s- any situation, I would think either sun blows out, and or like some like planet level shit explodes and sends shrapnel to the earth. Really? Is what I think. like our planet or another planet. No, like uh, another planet. Oh, so it's like a meteor comes yeah, like into a meteor shower, but like on a mass level of destruction type shit. Mm, ding. I would think like you know like the uh, we have like a big ass um, volcano in uh in the U.S. I forgot what which national park. It's one of the big ones. Is it not in Colorado? Yellowstone. It's in yeah, Yellowstone. I think it's Colorado. There's like a big ass mega volcano. They said that shit blows up. Like that shit. The you world think it is would over. Take Earth. They said like it will cover like the Western Hemisphere, like of like. Are you dead ass? Yes, yeah, like that's how big it is. If that shit erupts, it's over. And I always used to think about like, yo, that's just right there, my yeah, nigga. It's right there for us. Like yeah. they said, that shit's gonna take off like half the United States and Canada just by that shit blowing up. And then like the all the soot is gonna cover like half the earth, so that that half is either gonna turn cold, nothing's gonna be able to grow. So it's just gonna be deed, bro. That's, that's what I. Would, stuff, that's bro. what I would think. I would think that or some type of outbreak. Oh, like a zombie or like a patient uh, n- zero kind of thing. Some shit like that. Because I feel like I feel like they low key either that, maybe a nuclear war, but I don't think we're that dumb. No. 
I don't think we're that dumb. But I think if like we come out with like a um like some shit like a zombie, some shit like that, I feel like everything's just gonna go left. I don't think nobody's gonna help us. Everybody for themselves. <laughs> Cause you know how humans are, but niggas oh, we're is terrible. dickheads. We're terrible people. As a uh, civilization, we are terrible. Niggas, is, niggas is dickheads, like, and and I feel like they're preparing that in a way. Cause I remember, um, who's the guy that made the the multiverse thing, the little headset shit? What's his name? Oh, the, the guy VR that made Facebook. Headset? Uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, he was he was saying that you could um, what's it called? You could uh, fuck. What's the word? You could pay. To put your conscious in like the multiverse, the multi realm, whatever that shit called, that game. I feel like that if the world's ending, it's worth. But if it's not, then what? I, mean, I guess if your life sucks. <laughs> but hey, just imagine they just preparing us and they're just putting our minds in these little, like, made up worlds, like AI worlds, and we're just all in like a chip just to like preserve like the human race and shit. And we'll all just become robots at the end. Cause I feel like there's like a. That's kind of worth. You think it's worth it? I think I'm sentient. I I believe that you know I'm real. Mm, I don't know. I think that would be bad though. Think of that. I just I just hope if the end of the world comes, bro. I ain't here to live that shit, bro. I don't think it will be. I think, hopefully, nah, not hopefully. I feel bad for my great 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 grandchildren, bro. But <laughs> I I ain't I don't want to deal with that shit, my nigga. Nah, it sounds miserable, bro. Just imagine knowing your like mo- like those are your last moments sounds crazy. Like I remember I was watching I think I talked about, I was watching this movie called Greenland and it was like uh it was the end of the world type shit. It was like but like they was preparing for it. So it was like meteors coming down and everybody and like the government sends out a text to who could go into the bunker and it's only like people that are needed. So it's like uh doctors, architects, People that could help build the Damn, human race back up, me. and the and the main <laughs> character. Like me. <laughs> hey, bro, they might need some HVAC. Yeah. Oh, congratulations again! I forgot to say in the beginning, bro. My oh, nigga yeah. Jason graduated from Appreciate Lincoln it. Tech. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate He's it. He's in the real world now with us. Unfortunately, <laughs> shit is miserable. No, real quick. Sorry to be real. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I had to sit down with myself. I'm like, this is really the last moments of my life. Like it's done up. Nigga. <laughs> it's I'm a nine to five worker. I go home, have a TV dinner, go to sleep, and repeat it until I fucking die. I have a miserable life now. I don't think that's gonna it's, happen. It's done up. Where's the th- fun? I don't think that's gonna happen. It's so done up, bro. Don't worry, bro. If this blows up, we all gonna be working with each other. Yeah. We are gonna have a big ass shit, corporation. I hope so. Hopefully, shit. we'll see. But um, what was I saying? Yeah, like he was he was an architect, so he was able to go into the bunker, and like niggas were trying to kill him because like nah, we want you want your spot, and they was like following him trying to go to the bunker type shit. But hey, bro, my my great grandkids, if you watching this somewhere, great great grandkids, hopefully you guys have a good job and y'all make it to the bunker, bro. But um, mine are. <laughs> hey, bro, I believe in them kids, bro. I believe. You got anything you want to talk about before I ask you this question? This is a. <laughs> so there's this thing, this theory that I was uh, looking into a while back. It's called uh, Roko's Basilisk. Mm-hmm. It's basically that it's a sentient AI, like a robot that could answer the question to literally anything. I thought they made that already. Didn't they make that? I heard Google had no, because like. Because they're saying like if this was made, it would end the world. Really? Because there'd be mass suicide, mass paranoia, everything, because it knows the answer to everything. What's life after death? Is God real? Anything. And it would cause, like, the end of us and create. Because if it's a sentient AI and it knows the answer to everything, it would also create more of itself, thus creating robot invasion, takeover, mass paranoia, suicide, everything. It causes anything it wants because it's fuck? the most sentient being in the planet. So you telling me, so if, so if a compu- so basically if it's a supercomputer that's really that smart, yeah, you think they made one by by now? Or you I, think I, would, I genuinely believe that this theory is true. Like, if it was possible and it is made, we would 100% get taken over or die. Hell yeah, bro. Just, yo, just imagine they could just rebuild themselves. Exactly. Like, They're there's no fight. There's no fight in that shit, yeah. bro. Like, I'd rather fight the aliens. And it knows the answer to everything. Like, there's just imagine. can't do. Like, just imagine. That nigga knows your every move. There's no, how the fuck you fight that shit? Exactly. And that's that, why that theory is so fucking scary. See, I feel like, I heard something about um, Google having a robot that went sentient. Mm. Like having a robot that was actually like responding and answering questions and niggas was getting scared, but nobody talking about it. Yeah, like I mean, That's terrifying, bro. If a robot becomes self-aware and is able to recreate itself and it is done up for a human race, we cannot stand a chance. See, that's what I'm saying too. Like in a thousand years, like from year 2000 to year 3000, that's a, yeah, that's a thousand years. 
You tell me there's not gonna be one person that's gonna make one of them AIs and be do some dumb shit, and then he's like, no, nah, it's okay, he's a friend. Nah, you start realizing, cause like, nigga, if you, if you think about it, bro, like we we're only on the top of the food chain because of our brain. Yeah. So if we make something that has equivalent better, to our brain or better, we it's are, over. We are we're literally just like how we see monkeys. In a zoo or animals, dogs, that, that's us to them. Now. That's what I'm saying. Like, niggas don't understand. Like, you could try to make something with our brains. Like, it's going to be done up, right? Like, there's no way around that shit. I'd rather an alien attack than a robot mm-hmm. attack because we can at least... We can do something. We can figure that shit out, my nigga. But robots, done up. Like, nigga. Mass reproduction, easy, no problem. Niggas don't listen when they watch Terminator, bro. <laughs> but, like, speaking of, speaking of like, shit like that, right? I was I was thinking about this the other day. What, so say all the animals had our brain, like they was just as smart as human, every single animal on earth, which animal would be like the top of the food chain, do you think? Gorillas. You think so? Gorillas. <laughs> I ain't gonna crazy, lie, bro. a gorilla that's just as smart as us is kind of nuts. I was yeah, thinking of like a- Planet of the Apes where they took over. <sighs> it was their earth. That was easy too. I would think something like a bear, because I like, think about it, I ain't gonna lie, we're gonna be going down in the food chain. I'm probably gonna be at the bottom. Cause think we can't fish, we can't hunt. I think it's the fact that gorillas and primal like animals like that have opposable thumbs. The other <laughs> ones just don't stand a chance, bro. They now have weapons. Oh, Every, they can now use guns the, now. A bear ain't gonna pick up an AK, but a monkey is. Mm. And it's done up from there. Dang. Low key, how about how about the shit in the? You think they can't like adapt to it though? Like they can't make some shit. Uh, you know, over years of genetic mutations and stuff like that, but even then now, now we're talking crazy because if we're talking about genetic mutations over years, sea life. Nah, sea life is over. Coming on, wa- <laughs> coming on land. <laughs> if I see a, if I see an upright crocodile, it's over, bro. That nigga start walking. It's done for us. A like, whale, done up. Like a whale with a gun. <laughs> I'm telling it. you, bro. Like, there's no way. Cause like I remember Tyrone said this shit best, bro. We're literally all Batman. Around a bunch of superheroes that don't know they're superheroes. Like, us as humans yeah. are like Batman. We just got the brains, but we don't have the strength of gorillas. Nope. We're not as fast as cheetahs. We can't fly like birds. Like, them niggas all superheroes. They just don't got the that smarts like us. That is, I like that. I like that analogy a lot. Like, that shit's. That's, that's, that's some heat right there. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I'm saying. That's just, but that's nah. just so true. Because now you got me thinking, bro. School of tuna. You know, like those uh, fish that swim in like really big school and mm-hmm. they create mass formations. Just imagine it makes now like they a big. Have, now they have hands. We're done. <laughs> I don't know. I think they're gonna put us as pets. Like, we can't. We, honestly, we're probably all gonna die off because there's no way we're gonna yeah. hunt them. We're not gonna have farms because them niggas gonna be like. Why am I just sitting here waiting to die? Exactly. <laughs> Let me get out of here. Let me fight back. Like I feel like a like a like a chicken and a pig and cows. Like they just think their life cycle is just they're just gonna get slaughtered. I don't think they think at all. Oh, you don't think so? They just they're just eating. They just eat, sleep, take they're a just shit. Like damn, this is good. <laughs> and then they just get killed. <laughs> like just imagine, bro. No, you never see like the chicken farms, bro. I swear, bro, they be getting stepped on, bro. Mm-hmm. They just dump a batch of them and then just walk and jump a batch and stepping on chickens and it's breaking necks. It's done up. That's disgusting. All them GMO chickens, them shit's all big as hell. You seen that one? Okay, I don't know if that was real or not. There was one video of a big ass chicken that was like this tall. <laughs> I swear to God, nah, I swear to it was like a genetically real, modified bro. chicken that was like four feet tall. <laughs> Nigga walked out the chicken hen like with thick ass legs, bro. Nah, no, I can't be real, bro. I don't know. I never seen some shit. stuff like that. I'm telling you, we're fucked, <laughs> bro. If if animals start genetically mutating. We're done. Hey, I feel like there's going to be one animal. God forbid a, a, an animal develops human speech, I think we're fucked. Really? Even they're if gonna, they talk? They're going to start understanding stuff. Oh, really? They're going to oh, okay. start, start getting a grasp on things. Okay, now I can understand why gorillas could be on top. Because they could low-key understand us a, little, a yeah. little bit. More than any other animals. Like gorillas yeah, and monkeys. No, the, oh, fuck. What was the experiment called? The, the, the something mother experiment with a, with a monkey. One monkey was set with a real mother. Mm-hmm. Or like no, I think a more realistic, like a realistic looking fake mother. Yeah. And the other one was set with just like a robot mother. Really. And that one was scared of everything, but it still would find comfort in a monkey that was not real. Like clearly did not look real. Which one? The the robot one. Yeah. Oh my god. Like when it was scared, it would still go to that thing, even though it didn't respond, did nothing but just sit there like a fucking scarecrow. The fuck. They're smart. But they they're are. Like, I mean. That's what. That's another thing. Like I feel like, cause I remember I seen another experiment. They had a monkey be raised with a with a child, 
to mm. see if like it would turn into like a human basically because like you know no they will you think they will no because i'm pretty sure there's that uh, there's a thing about the monkey that ate like or like fucking almost killed or killed its owner like grew up with the owner everything like was treated like a human apparently it was like popping pills or something crazy shit like human shit mm-hmm. and then one day it just lost its fucking mind and killed her even so, though it was with her for years raised with her and shit mm. so so do you think that because I was talking about UJ gonna be mad at me because he he be thinking I, everything everything he tells me he be thinking I put on the podcast <laughs> I don't sometimes <laughs> but he was asking he was like do you think shit like that is like can you like change somebody's aggression through like is somebody's aggression like genetically based or is it like is it like through like um experiences so say like a monkey right yeah say you have a monkey you nurture him like a child but he's still a monkey so he's gonna he might snap one no, day 100%, yeah. but is, is that like genetic or is that like but like if you what's the word because it's like he's saying like can people be born like aggressive yeah, if you know we saying? if we truly are based off animal instincts, and we all have animal instincts at the end of the day, which we do because of fight or flight, mm-hmm. so we have stuff like animal instincts. Yeah, yeah, I believe so because I'm telling you, animals like tigers in the in the circus, right? I'm sure they're fed great, maybe not treated the best, whatever, but nothing mm-hmm. like traumatic that's gonna piss them off to like where they have to kill, right? Mm-hmm. But yet they'll be in the middle of an act. They've done it a million times. They practice and will still snap and bite the fucker that is to, like playing with them. Yeah, like I'd be watching, like you ever be seeing like the little handlers that'd be with the, uh, they'd be with like the tigers and the wolves and be yeah. like, don't worry, I'm tripped. I've been nurturing him since like a puppy. He's yeah. known me. That don't mean nothing. Don't mean he shit. sees been... one trigger, he could kill you at any moment. He's you up, no That's problem. What I'm, like, I seen this one guy be feeding like crocodiles, like goes into the shit, just feeds him chickens. I'm like, there's yeah. one day he gonna get pissed off. And like our pissed off is like, we get mad and like, we don't like go physically. They're animals. So they yeah, get pissed off and like it's attack. Their life or, it's their life or, you know, the one that's pissing them off. That's, that's what I'm that's saying. All I see. So like maybe, I would think that that shit like that could be like, um... What's it called? I always thought it was like through experiences, like how you're raised, like you yeah. could be aggressive. But at the end of the day, we're all like, we're all animals. Mm-hmm. So like we always have that aggression in us that at any moment that shit could come out. I don't care what, like niggas be having pet tigers as like cubs. They think they never going to attack. Dumb. Nigga, they going to kill you one Nigga, day. My dog could bite me. And That's what I'm saying. If they want years. to. If they really wanted to, if they really feel threatened, they could really just like maim us. Mm-hmm. So, like, I don't even understand that shit. And, like, I remember they was doing another social experiment with, like, triplets because they want to see how, like, if triplets, even though they had the same mind, same DNA, if they're going to be the same person, if they put they get put in different situations. So, they put one triplet in a in a very poor environment. Like, they gave them, a poor, gave them to a poor family. They gave the middle one to the middle class and then the firstborn was to the rich families. 100% make them different. So... They were all was raised differently with different families, and they came back together when there was adults, and they was like, they realized like, oh, we like we're triplets. I never seen you all my life, and like, like they was like mad sad because like they had to go through this shit. Like they was like they like their whole personality is low key like changed, bro. Mm. But like they were still like the same DNA, same type of person, and like I think one person like actually like killed himself. Mm. Like I think it was like the one that was in like the um. The poor, the he was like in the really like poor poor societies. Yeah. Like it was like an actual. I think they made a movie about it. I forgot I what it was that's called. Real. Yeah, there's like a that's evil. I ain't gonna lie. No, nah, I do think Jack's play a big part because, um, like me and my dad, right? I was never around him growing up. Still not around him. Nothing. But we share the same mannerisms, like mental issues. Like he has anxiety. I have bad anxiety. Like we have the same shit. But mm. anxiety about the same shit. We don't like being out in public with a lot of people. We don't like doing shit. It stresses us out going to like amusement parks, or whatever. Right? Yeah. Mannerisms. Like the way I'm sitting right now. The way like my fucking. I have like a weird. I don't have a good posture. Same shit. And his neck also goes like. So you that. think that's like genetic? Yeah. Can that be genetic? Hundred percent mannerisms, all that good shit. And I've never been. I don't experience nothing with this guy. Little to nothing growing up. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't. I thought. See, shit like that. I would think would be like through experiences, like you know, just being around. Like they be saying, like yeah. I talk like my dad a lot, and I never really noticed till like I got probably like a couple years ago, like when I was with Jay, and like they met my parents for the first time. They was like, "Wow, dad, you really sound like your father." I'm like, I never. Nobody ever said that to me before. And then mm. I started like peeping like some shit I say. It'd be like, yo, that's some shit my dad would say. Or it's like, like the way I talk, the way I greet people is the same thing he says. And it's like, 
and like I always be catching myself like, yo, this is some like I'm about to say something. It's something either my mom or dad would say. So maybe that is genetic. But I always thought it was like through like your experiences, like just being with them so much. You like catch on to things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's OD. I never knew. That. That's crazy. No, it's actually really. I'm talking about everything. The way we ha- conduct ourselves around family, the way we treat family, the way we actually feel on the outside versus what we show. Like everything down to the T. It's wild as fuck because I. I'm not going to say I don't know this nigga, but... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I don't be around him. I'm never around that nigga, ever. That's crazy. That's why I be thinking... This, nigga, we in a simulation sometimes, <laughs> bro. Like, I remember I was I was thinking about this. I used to think about this when I was a kid, right? You know, you ever watch that episode of G- Jimmy Neutron where they went out of a galaxy and they was like in like an eraser? Like, they went so far. It was like they was actually in somebody's eraser. So it was like... So like going into like different dimensions, right? I would think like... Like, say, like, this bottle cap. Like, if you go deep, deep into this bottle cap, it's another world. Yeah. Like, you know. Pocket dimensions. Yeah, like that. So, like, you you know, home, what's that shit called? Fucking, uh, Hort, you ever watch Horton Hears a Who? Like, the Dr. Seuss movies? Never actually, no. But, like, all right, so there was two movies. Like, you know, The Grinch, right? Yeah. You know how they was, they lived on a snowflake. Yeah. So, they said that snowflake, a single snowflake, that's where those people lived on. And, like, there's a movie called Horton Hears a Who where... It was like an elephant, and he there was like a, a world in a flower, and there was a, those were the same worlds. So I'm thinking, like, what if our world is just like that? Like, yeah, no, it's definitely 100 percent possible that we live in a pocket dimension. That'd be scary. Like, just imagine, like you just go out into space, and then you're just like in a whole nother like realm of shit, and then you just keep going, just never ending. <laughs> nah, yeah, it's like um uh, in the It universe, you know, the scary clown It. Yeah, they're all on top of a turtle that walks through space. Really? Yeah. Like the the clown shit? I'm pretty sure that's it, right? But yeah, I'm pretty sure like the the world they live in is on top of a turtle's back. I didn't or know some shit like that. That's weird. See, that's what I'm saying. I think that like I'm like just like it, didn't that happen in um for Ant Man when that nigga was just every time he got like even smaller, smaller, he got into like an atom yeah, and he started going um, to like dimensions it, and going shit. Going subatomic, yeah. Mm-hmm. So hey, we never know, bro. Fucking um. What was I gonna say? I was watching Loki. Have you seen Loki? Nah, I've been, I heard. I watched a couple. Basically, episodes about it's it. like it, it, Loki. Kind of. I don't like that. It's fucking. Well, I like it because it's cool. But like the concept of it is like um, that if you do one thing, because like apparently everything in that universe is predetermined. If one thing, let's say I was supposed to drink this water bottle, mm-hmm. right? But I didn't. They would sit there and send me to the time police and reset my entire timeline because I didn't do it because it's already predetermined. Oh, so like that's what happened. So like I don't know if you ever seen Endgame, mm-hmm. right? Loki gets a tesseract yeah. and escapes to go somewhere else, but that wasn't supposed to be predetermined in the timeline. So it created a different one mm-hmm. and created a whole new line of events. Oh, so they had to take him to the time police and reset his timeline. The fuck, that's creepy. So like everything, everything is predetermined. So like even if you if you go away from it just, but do you but do the people know that it's predetermined no. or they just it well, just happens well no one knows that besides loki now because they told loki because oh no one knows the timekeepers exist there's three niggas looking over all the timelines making sure everything happens the way it's supposed to be predetermined i remember seeing that what what no that was in that was in gravity falls i think some shit like that there was like a there was a time police mm-hmm. that like if anything happened like they go back in time because you ever watched gravity falls before yeah so like if anything like because you know that nigga What's his name? Grunkle Stan, whatever that nigga. If he did something bad, like go through time, like the time police will come by. So like, I thought, I just reminded me of that shit. But like, that's OD. That's scary to think that our lives are already predetermined. We're just living on a timeline that already exists, just playing by numbers, even this conversation. It could be. But like, how could you like go out of that timeline? Like you just realize By doing something different that wasn't predetermined. But, but like, it, would you do it on purpose or it would be like no, an accident? because you don't, you wouldn't know. We're not, yeah, we're not so. self-aware of these things because we have no proof of it. So we think we have our own self. I think the scary part about it is that we think we all have our, like, our own will to do whatever we want, but truly we're just following exactly what's planned for so, us. So he, made, so he made like a different decision and he made a new timeline, yep. basically. It's called the Nexus event. Yeah, literally timeline branched off because of that so does that mean like it's like things in that timeline is like a little different probably yeah because like what if that's happening to us low-key because i think of you you know the mandela effect and shit yeah like you know how there's some you know there's a new one i found out Mm. like like with chick-fil-a what about it like was it uh, isn't chick-fil-a spelled c-h-i-c and then fillet c-h-i-c yeah no it has a k in it no it doesn't i swear to god i swear to god bro I promise you, I remember, yo, people, tell me if I'm crazy, but Chick-fil-A had no K, bro. 
It that, does have a K. That's what I'm saying. It don't look right. That's what I'm so, saying. Where do we come up with this? Nah. That, that's what I'm thinking, my nigga. Where like, did we come up with that then? Because that's exactly <laughs> what I had in my mind. Yeah, 100%. Bro, that's okay. what I'm saying. That was when I when I heard that shit, I'm like, nah, no way. Because like recently, I heard there was a company called CERN that has like, they would do with like quantum physics and shit like that. And they have like a sub subatomic particle, some shit like that, some big ass machine. And the last time they turned it on was in 2012. And they said that's what caused all the Mandela effects because they made a they jumped us to a different timeline. Mm. And they said they, they turned it on just recently, like July 5th. That's when they turned it on. And after July 5th, that's when I found out Chick-fil-A was spelled like that. Nah, there's no I way. I swear to God, no, bro. Next time I pass Chick-fil-A, I'm really going to have to inspect. Like, there's, there's, there's <laughs> Nigga, no that way. shit's scary, bro. Like, I promise you, there was no K. <laughs> nah, for There was real. no K in Chick-fil-A, bro. That shit is max. I'm like, nah. Like, there's no way. There's no way I could, like, mess up something that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no, no way I'm I could really, not. Like, I'm really trying to think, but <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that K in my fucking life. It I'm doesn't look not right. Not typing it. Not looking at the I don't, building. No, nah, no, nah, that's how I know. Nothing. That's how I know, because I definitely did not type it. That's what I'm saying. I never put a K at the end. That's what I'm saying. That's just, that's just I gave you goosebumps. I like talking about that shit, bro. Like, what if we? they just jumped us, my nigga? They might have. 100%. Because think Butterfly about the look. <sighs> Fuck that shit, bro. That shit, that shit makes me nervous, bro. Nigga, my, my skin like crawling right now. I don't like that feeling. <laughs> Fuck, like, just like, oh, nah, bro. But, okay, so I got a thing we're going to talk about, right? So, can we survive these monsters from these anime? Since you're, since you're an anime guy, yeah. so I got I got some monsters, and the thing is, so we have superpowers, right? So, we have super strength, and we have combat training. We have super speed, and we can fly. And we're going to get, we're going up against these monsters from these certain TV shows and animes. I'm not gonna lie to you, you're making this sound OP because now I'm thinking One Punch Man. That nigga nah, nah, is nah, not nah. getting fucked up by nobody. He, he ain't a he ain't a monster. That's two cheese. That nigga is a gimmick, bro. You right. So the first one is a is a Titan from Attack on Titan. Super speed, super strength, and we can fly. I and think we fucking cooked. one of them shits up. Cooked. Fuck, Niggas are beating them with grappling one. hooks. That's nigga. what I'm saying. I'm yo. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm the biggest one. Because aren't there, like, certain sides? There's, like, nah, smaller there's, ones? there's Armor Titan, Beast Titan, Cart Titan, fucking Warhammer Titan. There's I don't care, but I'm fucking... But they were all getting cooked. By niggas with... Gra- niggas don't got... None of, so, nobody in that series had powers, right? Now I'm guessing? No. So they all... Besides the ones that could turn into Titans, like Aaron and... Yeah, Titan, yeah, yeah, yeah. But otherwise than that, cooked. Nigga, I'm peeing that nigga ass. I'm like, I do no one seeing me, bro. I don't give a fuck. Shit, bro. Super strength, nigga, what, bro? Nah, they're, I'm they're uppercutting that nigga, bro. Nigga, the Beast Titan. You know the Beast Titan? Well, I don't know. You probably haven't seen it. I watched like the first episode. Beast Titan, huge ass Titan that um was the only like one. Well, at is first, he like the, the king of all one. of them? Nah. Because I heard there was like Aaron one. Aaron is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, fucking um, my bad, spoiler. Oh shit. Bro. <laughs> but right. uh, nah, the Beast Titan was like the first one that they knew that had intelligence and mm-hmm. like was actually smart and fought with like actual like like intelligence, bosses. yeah. And he got smoked by this nigga Levi, like smoked, no problem. And that nigga had no powers, right? No powers. And we nigga, just I'm, just combat skill. That's it. Nigga, we could take on a Titan by ourselves. One, you get one, I get one. It's, it's a, D for them it's niggas, money. bro. It's easy. All right, all right. So the next one is uh, you remember Mewtwo from Pokemon? I do. So supposedly he's the strongest Pokemon. I heard he's actually insane. I, I I've never, I've cheese. never watched Pokemon, but I heard he's fucking nuts. I heard that nigga's cheese. I ain't gonna lie, like yeah. he's like Goku with Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um. Because I remember in the movies they couldn't touch that. Nigga. No. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga had this one power up, bro. I remember, like, I be known as, like, moves from, like, fucking uh, Smash Bros. So, like, he has this one power where that's just, like, a fucking Kame Kame Hasha. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Because we don't really got power-ups like that. We just got super strength, all that shit. We just, like, we got the basic shit. Now, he has some crazy shit. I'm pretty heard, sure he's psychic, too. He's psychic. I think he could teleport. He can, like, phase through shit. A lot of love. We might be done up. <laughs> we I might get, get cooked. Up. I don't want to get fucked up by that nigga, though. We, nigga, might, we might get cooked. I can't get cooked by a Pokemon, bro. <laughs> I can't get cooked but by that. But he's smart. Like, I apparently, because he has that one quote from the fucking movie that everybody always quotes. I forgot what it is. Famous ass Mewtwo quote. I can't remember, but I know what you're talking about. I think that's like the first time you spoke but or some shit. But he's tough. He is nice, but I don't want to lose to that nigga. <laughs> might just have to. All bro. right. I'll take, take an L, bro. This one, I never heard of this one. Cause I, didn't, I didn't. Did you watch Naruto? Of course. So it's the the Ten Tails monster. Cooked. 
Cooking that nigga, right? Cooked. Yo. Cooked. What was his powers anyways? I don't, I don't I, remember. I think I, I watched it, the video it about it. It was so, I think, it was like, it wasn't insignificant, all these fucking, if anybody watched Naruto, which a lot of people think, yeah, shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> I, got, I got the shit tattooed on my body. I've seen it. <laughs> ten Tails just mid, like super mid, bro. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, it was Choji who fucking fought the Ten Tails and was giving that nigga a hard time. Give me a second, bro. Hey, don't worry. Nigga Choji in butterfly form, bro. Isn't Choji the fat nigga? Yeah. <laughs> if that nigga, nigga, bro, we good, bro. Am I tripping? I might be tripping. I, Cause am I mistaken? Yeah, no, I'm pretty. Him. No, I'm pretty sure Choji. Yeah, Choji was fighting. Yeah, Choji was fighting the fucking ten tails, nigga. You had a fat guy who could expand himself, <laughs> make himself big with butterfly wings, fighting the ten tails. Mid smoked on. Smoking that nigga, bro. Smoking that pack, bro. Easy. For real. All right, and and the next one is Cell from Dragon Ball. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, oh, oh. I rem- that's the one he thing was I remember. Giving smoke, boy. He was fucking the niggas up, bro. I ain't gonna nah, lie. I used to watch Dragon Ball Z back in the days, before like. Like like how Jordan was, I used to watch that shit mm-hmm. like Dragon Ball Z Kai. I rem- I remember that nigga sp- specifically. He came he, out of nowhere. He literally came there, set up a tournament, and said, "Come and fight me," and that was it. Literally just smoke. Yeah, no prayer. He just wanted to fight. Nah, he <sighs> might he might get us. Cause I'm not, you have to think about it. The niggas in Dragon Ball Z were wiping out planets like this. Like I know, and nobody, he just no superheroes over here doing that. I know, and any of our fucking shows and shit like that. Yeah, nigga. If you don't think Frieza was literally snapping in fucking planets, <laughs> yeah, he was. So I mean, yeah, we might get smoked by Perfect Cell. Mm. Crazy. Wasn't he made in a in a lab, right? Uh, Supposedly, I don't know. I'm being honest with you. I haven't seen Dragon Ball. I haven't <sighs> seen that shit forever. Yeah. But I know that he was smoking niggas when he was just Cell, and then he went Perfect Cell and was still smoking. But even then, he wasn't. He was strong. Yeah. But he wasn't strong enough to fight Goku, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Because Goku was like, I'm going to have you fight my son. And that was that. <laughs> so, you know, if you... If the niggas uh, bend you to his son, but we might get... We're definitely in smoke. Damn. Because I, I think Cell would fuck Superman, to be honest. Yeah, probably. All right. And this one... I never heard this one before, but I looked up on the internet, and they yeah. said this is, like, the number two, like, worst ones. You ever mm-hmm. watch, like, Blood Sea? I have not. Bro, it's like a... It's called... It's like bunnies, bro. Let me look it up. And it's like a bunch of them, and they just, like... They don't have no conscience. They just be killing niggas, just be eating niggas alive. They limbs turn into freaking like. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Um, t- say it's like a bunch of those. Say like a hundred of them shits. Cause one on one, we definitely killing one. I've seen like I've seen clips. Right. Problem is, I don't know who is fighting. Cause I've seen clips of them just killing a bunch of regular people. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what the main characters who are actually fighting them have or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. But a hundred of them seems kind of little, little. That's like a that's like a, like a horde of little dub monsters. For us. But I'm thinking we probably beat them because I don't know if the person in the show has any of what we have. Yeah, I doubt it. But I was gonna say the niggas from fucking um, was that Tokyo Ghoul with the with the monsters or Demon Slayer. But like I was gonna say one of them shits, but that's I'm cheese. I'm smoking on a. Mm, actually, I don't know if I'm smoking. Cause on don't Demon don't them niggas. ghosts like take a body and just like eat that nigga? Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah, Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah. I'm uh, not touching. Nigga, just imagine he goes into I'm you and start lie, killing me. I don't think you're smoking nobody from <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul because them niggas. It's called Kagune. Yeah. That shit is o- like imagine that, that nigga take OP, over your body. Nigga, that shit is op. That shit is op. You're not. I, you're not fighting a ghoul. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't care if you're Superman. You're not fighting a ghoul. Oh, it's super strength, the super flight, or whatever. You're not because that them shits could take over bodies, right? Uh, I mean, if they bite you, yeah, mm. they have to eat you, and then if you do live, you could turn into a ghoul. Fuck that shit, bro, man. Well, that's all I had. Shout out to the guy. Someone on TikTok actually asked me to do yeah, this. That's yeah. a fire one. I like that. Shout out to y'all, bro. But I, I got another question, right? So the goal, so the Joker is giving you a hundred million dollars, right, mm-hmm. and all the resources to take down one Marvel or DC hero. Which one would it be? Which one would you choose? I'm not going to lie. I'm going for Falcon. Falcon is ass, If we're going to go cheesy, bro, Bucky's getting smoked on. <laughs> like, <laughs> nah, I'd rather go Falcon than Bucky because Bucky a little, he got a little I'm edge to him. Smoking on Bucky, boy. I'm, yo, Falcon is but deep. But if I want to give myself somewhat of a challenge and I have what? I'm just a regular dude? Yeah. They give you the resources Frank and shit. Frank Castle, the Punisher, bro. The Punisher? Yeah. The Punisher? But he's nuts. You know you killed the Marvel Yes. <laughs> the pu- I'm not touching the Punisher. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm not. Nigga, what? You're going to fuck me up. I'm fu- uh, maybe Hawkman. Hawkman ass. <laughs> Hawkman is ass. I'm trying to think of another mid-superhero. Fuck. Hawkman's ass. Maybe freaking... Uh, I'm smoking on Black Panther. What? 
But I'm you look at I'm, I'm be honest with everybody. I know the new movie's coming out. Yo, shout out to Chadwick Boseman. Rest in peace, bro. All that. Hey, Black Power. I'm all about. I'm smoking on Black Panther, oh. nigga. Smoking on that, nigga. <laughs> Fuck Vibranium. Fuck his claws. Fuck <laughs> all that shit. Fuck the condom. Smoking on him. Oh, my gosh. They ain't go. You they, need to watch What If. You ever seen I, What If? I didn't. Yeah, I don't you got Disney Plus shit. no more, that bro. That's fucking fun. Disney, wasn't there one where you had all the Infinity Stones or some shit? There was a, I don't want to spoil it, but <sighs> I'm not someone, say it. someone gets all the Infinity Stones I mean, and he's fucking, he's way more powerful than Thanos. He I'm, literally pulled up on Thanos with like, what is there? How many? There's six or five? I think, I think one, there's, there's, one, there's one on each knuckle, so I think five. Yeah, no, no, six, six. There's one in the six, middle. Right? There's one in the middle, yeah. I think he pulled up on Thanos with five Infinity Stones. I'm not going to say who it was. He pulls up on him, literally goes, oh, that's interesting. Slices Thanos in half and just takes him. Wow. What I need to get fire, bro. I need to get Disney Plus, Super bro. Super fire. I'm about to start watching uh, Invincible. Invisible, super fucking I heard fire, that's fire. Dude. Super good. Anyways, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm smoking on black. Hawkman right is ass. Hawkman is mid. That mid is the mid. worst DC super character. Mid. He's li- all he does is fly with the with the freaking what's yeah, that the, a mace? It, is that a mace? It's that's like a that's like a booty spiked ball. On spiked a stick, ball. Bro. Like come on, bro. Mid. I'm smoking on Hawkman. Falcon is ass. I hate Falcon. I'm not gonna lie. He's he's so fucking mid. I'm smoking on what's his name? What's his name with the What's the name with the arrows from Mar- from Hawkeye? Marvel? Hawkeye. Ty- that's Tyrone's favorite superhero. I'm smoking on that's Hawkeye. That's his favorite? Weird guy, bro. Well, Hawkeye <laughs> has no <clears throat> no feats. Like, no feats. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. He's done nothing. Maybe in the comics if I'm wrong. But I in hate- the movies... He doesn't do shit. I mean, there was this one part. Remember when he took the nigga's sword and was like killing niggas oh, like that? Suck okay, dick, bro. Suck That's a it, bro. bro. But not, Hawkeye's just there to be man. there, bro. I'm smoking on Black Widow too. <laughs> but like, if I want to, if I want to challenge, the highest I would go is like Shazam. The Shazam highest I would go. Crazy, my Shazam, boy, yeah, but he's a kid bugging. though. I you think I could, just <laughs> a little crazy. But he's a kid though. I feel like I could get him when he's like lacking. Who would I go for? That's the high. I feel like I could befriend him and then backstab him because he little he little gullible. He a kid, bro. Mm. Who either that maybe nah not Aquaman because if I get in the water, it's deed. I'm not going in the water to fight Aquaman. <laughs> I'm not going in the water to I'm fight really Aquaman. To think, fuck, I'm trying to think who's a good challenge because the rest are just op op. Like maybe Thor, Iron Man. Spider-Man. I mean, nah, you guys see an Iron Man, bro? I don't think I do. With the Joker henchman, Iron Man killing us all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joker henchman, I ain't doing shit. Um, Black Panther's a good one, but I don't know if you're gonna. I'm Wakanda's smoking. coming after y'all niggas. Bro. That's worth. I'm, I'm down to kill Black Panther for that. You know the new Black Panther supposed to be a female. Supposedly, we don't. They don't know who it is yet. I, yeah. I think it might be either his sister or what's her name, Nuri. Nuri, the the lady, the yeah. either the her, ball lady? not the not the ball lady, the, no. the, the the um, his girl. She had like an afro. Oh, yeah. I, what, I don't know their I names. I don't know her name either. I didn't really like Black Panther to be honest. I, I also <laughs> I also heard in that movie, uh, Green Goblin's gonna be in it. What? Because they're trying to they're trying to intro because I think they're trying to introduce him. Willem Dafoe's like, oh, bro. Because like because like it's supposed to be Green Goblin and he because like the antagonist is Neymar the the nigga from Atlantis mm-hmm. but supposedly Green Goblin is like uh he's what's it called he's um influencing Neymar to fight Wakanda as a distraction to take the vibranium out of Wakanda. That's it's tough. it's just like it's gonna be something like the Civil War movie. Cause you know how they weren't like enemies that there was and there was like a dude, I forgot who it was. And he was like while they was fighting, they were like he would like go and like cause like havoc and like steal shit. That's what Green Goblin is doing. And they said that's leading up to the freaking um because I think after that movie it's either Fantastic Four or the um what's that what's that Avenger movie? I forgot which one. The Kang Dynasty. So they're trying to lead up into that one. By bringing him into the fucking um the universe. Nah, it's shit. about to be heat. I'm not gonna lie. When's Marvel's that one? getting fucking fire, but mm-hmm. they just opened the multiverse. It's Hell done yeah, bro! I'm Plus, ready they for have this rights phase. over Fantastic Four, the X Men, Deadpool, everything. I'm ready, but this is gonna be a good phase, bro. I heard, so I think the last one was the Infinity shit saga. I think this one's like the multiverse saga. That shit sounds that's just fire, insane, bro. bro. But let me think. Is there any other heroes I'll go? I'm not touching Batman. Superman is too much. I'm trying to think of any other Avenger, bro. I'm not going to lie. All the rest of the Avengers Avenger. are crazy. Captain America? He's crazy. If I have enough if I have enough henchmen and some Joker gas, I could get him. No. <laughs> With the Nigga, Joker he's gas? He's worthy. <laughs> he could hold fucking Thor's hand. He could hold Molnir, bro. Fuck that. That was fucking Nigga, gay. He's crazy. That was fucking gay. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think... 
Maybe not nah, Green Lantern. Nah, Green Lantern. They be hating on this fucking mid. He's not that ass. I'm taking off his ring. You can- <laughs> <laughs> you never the, I'm pretty sure you watched the movie where Green Lantern pulls up and two <laughs> and someone smacks him off the fl- uh, at the fl- uh, sky or whatever, and two niggas start beating on him. You never <laughs> seen that clip? Wait, 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 wait. Is it the live action movie? Nah, or nah, is nah. like the it's cartoon, the cartoon one? Let me let me see if I can find the clip. Wait, this shit is so fucking. Wait, is that funny, the one bro. that was fighting Dark Side and shit? Yeah, I think that's the one. Okay, I do Green remember Lantern. that one, bro. That uh, they they be doing bad, bro. All right, I'm smoking on Green Lantern too. But that ring is too powerful, though. But if literally, if you knock it out of his hand, it's deed. Like it's so easy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's done up for that nigga, bro. Nah. I remember. Stand back and peep the light show. Green Lantern's got this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's a bad. All right, bro. That, that's a bad. Stand back and watch the light show. He got punched <laughs> and just rocked on, bro. Free Green Lantern, bro. My nigga Hal Jordan, bro. Oh my god. But yeah, all them niggas. I, I said, bro. If those are your favorite superheroes, we smoke on all them niggas for a hundred million dollars. I and I got the Joker's resources. Plan D though for that niggas, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Hawkman over. Smoke. I don't know why he's a. Some, I don't know how he's a superhero. Somebody's player. kid had to make well, that. Whoever, up. yeah, I'm like, I had to make a wish, like <laughs> last dream, bro. Like, kid was like, can you please make me a superhero that could fly with a spiked ball? And mid, a, my favorite, my favorite animal was a hawk. Get the fuck mid. out of here. Mid, hawk woman ass too. Oh, I'm smoking on his wife too. Hawk woman ass. <laughs> Boot and hell no, bro. All right, what what other shits I got, my nigga? Um, I right, I got a, you know I was when I was going through the world star shit. I was I was reading an article. They said in I think it's in Japan or they're doing it. You can stay in a hotel for one dollar a night, but the catch is you have to be live stream twenty four seven in that hotel room. So my question is, would you would you stay at the nicest hotel possible for one dollar a night in your in your dream vacation spot for a dollar a night? But the the thing is, you have to be live stream twenty four seven while you're in that hotel room or in the hotel in general. I'm be honest with you. So no privacy. The only issue I see with that is if I went with my girl, right? Because she wouldn't be comfortable. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a shit. Like, nah, but I, I really wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> I really wouldn't care. But I feel like I do mad weird shit. Like when like like you ever just do like weird shit? When of course you- I do. <laughs> I'm a strange fucking person. But I'm be honest with you, bro. One dollar a night. If you want to see my. Bring you want to take a shit, whatever it is that you want to see me do, you can have it. I don't care. There's nothing you have on me. But the only issue with that is if I did go with my girl, there's no way she's gonna have sex with me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And she's not gonna want to get changed. Not even want to take a shower. She's not gonna use the bathroom. Understandable. It's very understandable. So like, if it's but if it was yourself, you would do it. Yeah, if it's just me, if I wanted to go somewhere by myself, or I I guarantee I could even get some of my boys that wouldn't give a shit. Like, <laughs> Who you think would wouldn't care? Out of us. Yeah, out of us. Uh, Jakai. Jakai definitely wouldn't care. That was a good shit. one. That was a good one. That was a. Good one. Uh, UJ, UJ's too self conscious to be caught lacking doing something. Because I'm not gonna lie to you, there's niggas out there that will catch it. If it's even a millisecond of UJ doing something weird, I'm playing it for the rest of my life, putting it on everything I own. Bro. He does it to himself, him. bro. Yeah, he, he wants does to be like himself. Batman, get exposed like Batman. <laughs> um, hey, bro. Who else wouldn't give a shit? I really don't think. I don't think Bash yeah, would care. It's just Ish thinks he's like undercover agent or something but he do not want to be seen he wears ski masks in summer with hoodies on and glasses so i doubt he wants to be seen in public like that um i think bash jordan don't would, give a shit bash don't care i think jordan would care jordan would why do you think jordan would care uh, <laughs> jordan's strange bro. had to think about it again for a dollar in the best place possible okay i think jordan i don't think he would tom chi chi nope 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 hell no Ain't we missing anybody? Chris? Chris, I no, think Chris would, I think Chris would care. He would definitely care. Chris plays chess with everything in life, bro. Yeah, if you're so not on his chess board, bro. He's, he's gonna find a way not to be on stream somehow. <laughs> he's just gonna sleep. He's gonna sleep on the beach. Yeah. Like he's gonna sleep on the like, nah. But and okay, so now I got another question, right? So say you had to pick would you rather have sex with a dog but nobody knows about it? Or not have sex with a dog, but everybody in the world thinks you did it. <laughs> That's a terrible question, bro. Because I don't want to be fried for the rest of my life for something I really didn't do. 
<laughs> but at some point, do I just go? I don't care. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like I would say that. At least I didn't fuck a dog at the end. That's of the what day, I'm saying. Bro. You know you didn't like, do it. I'm thinking about deep down if I really fucked a dog ever in my life, bro. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to live with it. I'm nightmares. Con- like if I'm not. Nah. Bro. Like that Black Mirror episode. Yeah, where you had to fuck a pig. Nah. But like if so, say you know you didn't do it, but everybody just thinks you do it. I mean. I don't think that would be too bad, but like but you can, can get fried everywhere. You, you go, can get bro. fried, but it's like you I feel like over time it's gonna die down. Yeah, but I give it's it like never five years. Disappear. It won't disappear, but but I think it's definitely more worth as long as you got to not fuck a dog, bro. Honest, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, Sick part is there's niggas that do that for fun. There is niggas. There is bro. I don't even want to tell y'all what be going on in the group chat or what niggas be sending in the group chat. I can't even. Put, like I'm not gonna lie, niggas seen that shit. Shit is crazy. I don't know where <laughs> niggas find that shit from. Like I just had a flashback. That shit is just repulsive, my nigga. Y'all niggas, whoever record, it'd be the Asian motherfuckers too, bro. Nah, yeah. Niggas in Asia, yeah, just ain't be, nobody in America. Well, there's people doing it in America. Hell yeah, that niggas that get it on camera. Crazy. Y'all are in foreign countries and you're strange. Really strange, bro. But I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm not gonna do it. No, and just gonna. Because as long as I got, like, y'all niggas know I didn't do it. Jay knows I didn't do it. My family. I don't care what y'all niggas say. I might get famous. Yeah. I mean, what if I get? I get a little bit of fame off that, low-key. You know, good, pu- bad publicity is still publicity. That's very bad publicity, bro. I might be on the Helen show. Ooh. Nah, I wouldn't be on the Helen show. They wouldn't want me there. Mm, Dr. Phil, bro. No, yeah. That, oh. <laughs> he would torch you, bro. Low-key. All right. That's not a... Okay. As long as they won't put me in jail for that shit. They won't put you in jail for that. I don't know if that's illegal. I don't think so. I think that's just strange. I feel like it illegal. should be. Cause there's no consent. That I think that's where niggas start like getting You're raping diseases an from. Animal. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. That's just I feel like it's just more a safety thing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. And there's people that's gonna be in the comments that said they're gonna do it. Hmm. There, there will. I'm saying there will be. If oh, I make this I into a like, clip, hmm? there will be niggas, bro. No, I remember there's a story. I think I was reading on Reddit or some YouTube video about the worst like stories they've ever heard on Reddit or something. Yeah. And there's a story about this. Um, a family who had a dog, but the dog started acting strange and being weird and shit like that. So mm-hmm. they took to the doctor, and it turns out the son, and this is fucking disgusting. I don't even know if you, I don't even know if I, I don't know if I could say it, but just know that the son was doing stuff to the dog that was putting the dog in like huge discomfort mentally and physically. But he wasn't having sex with it. He was like shoving things in it. Oh. Nah, that's oh, what that, I'm not gonna lie. That's some psychopath shit. I don't bro. know. I again, I didn't read too much into it. Just heard it in that little five second thing where you talk about the worst things on Reddit, and I was like, that is the most vile shit I think I've ever heard in my life. What? How old was the kid? Like he's like, I think he was like a teenager. Nah, bro. Poor. See, that's the, remember we were talking about dogs, bro. There's dogs that go through shit like that. And they just die. And that's their life. That's their life. Just, that's just their life. That's torment. That's they remember. Wow, that's so sad, bro. People, if y'all got dogs, but just remember, they're only part. They they're only gonna be a part of a small portion of your life, but they're gonna be a part of you. You're gonna be a part of their you whole life. Their life. You are their whole life. Just remember that when you don't want to walk your dog outside one day. <laughs> just yeah, remember that. Uh, remember that when they're sitting there and they have, they've done nothing for 24 hours. You are their entertainment. They have nothing else in their just life. Just remember that, people. Wise words from the members. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else do I got? What do I got? Oh, all right. So what, what would you rather do for $50 million, right? Is it get shot in the eye with the world's strongest Nerf gun? Drink <laughs> someone else's urine? Have a bowling ball drop on your private parts, or have a giant spider like the big ones that be in Australia. That's like already the, out of the question. Crawling you for ten minutes. Uh, that's already out of the question. I hate bugs. <laughs> I, there's nothing more on this planet than I hate the bugs. Nothing. They should all be exterminated. Somebody that's should find a way. I, again, you know, why, worms are good for the soil. Bees are good for pollinating. We whatever. Can find Fuck a way. Me. We'll bro. find something else. We bro. can find These something else. They, 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 they be just they, chatting. They really yo. have no fucking purpose. They be chatting. Especially mosquitoes. They do nothing but carry that, disease. That's. I say this every time. Flies, bro. no purpose. Like if there's like a, a a hating like mosquitoes type of club, I would join that. Should just try to get them exterminated. And there's no point in them. People niggas. are like, oh, but spiders kill others you know other Sp- bro, if there was no other bugs spiders you don't need, need spiders, to exist bro. Bro. Like, you don't need spiders they're useless nigga. I hate all of them so no um, bowling ball my uh, I think I'm good <laughs> I'm gonna be honest dude. I, I think I'm good there's people out there that'll do this shit for fun they'll Steve, pay somebody to do it what's that nigga Steve-O from uh, terrible. Jackass <laughs> terrible. he definitely terrible. did that before I'm good uh, now P we're getting shot in the eye I'm not drinking uh, nobody else's urine I might no. have to drink the pee what brother I'm, I'm, we're talking 
something I mean, a bug that is the size of whatever crawling on me done up that's just a personal thing uh my pretty important to me i think <laughs> and then we have going blind or drinking somebody else's pee i could drink somebody else's pee bro i don't want to go blind in one eye bro i'm good i would be completely bro, honest that, you can get a disease from that shit Fuck though <laughs> bear girls drink his own piss <laughs> That's his own piss, though. <laughs> so it's just like recycling back. It's somebody else's shit. Somebody could have something, bro. It's random pee. Somebody could... You could get, like, HIV off that shit, can't you? Mm. Hell no. <laughs> nigga, I could go blind and I wear an eye patch, like, patchy, nigga. I'm trying to be like Fetty Wap. <laughs> <laughs> Hell uh, Yeah, uh, it's either between the Nerf and the, uh, and the piss. Um <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, cause I nigga, I'd be getting a, a fraction, a speckle of dust in my eye, and I'd be thinking like it's it's that up for my eye, bro. I feel like Nick Fury. <laughs> so you said Nick Fury. I don't bro. know, bro. I don't oh. know. Because imagine a fucking Nerf bullet strong as fuck in my eye. It might you might not go blind. You might just be partial. Nigga, blind. eye drops hurt. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Um. <laughs> nigga said eye drops. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, like, I'm taking the bullet to the I guess eye, I might have to take the bullet. I to the can't drink. I'm because like that. Like, there's a chance. There's my uh, ten percent chance. Chlamydia, fucking HIV. Nah, yeah, that's, that's a bad AIDS. That's my a nigga, monkey I ain't box. monkey. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that shit, bro. <laughs> don't even want to talk about that shit. Niggas talking about that shit to Newark. Done up. It's in Newark. I that's I don't know if that's a joke. I that's seen it on gotta Twitter. Be, that's gotta be fucking done up. I'm done up. For that to be fake. Done up. Cause you know that shit was in New York, bro. They got monkeypox in Philly. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like a painful laugh, bro. Like <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. Fuck monkeypox, bro. <laughs> Fuck all that shit, bro. All right. Would you rather be chased down and hunted by the feds or the cartel? Feds, I'd rather go to jail, bro. The cartel's gonna like literally chop off my fucking <sighs> everything while I'm awake. Which one do you think you could get away though? Mm. I don't think the cartel could find me. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, no, they're not gonna go too far out of their territory, to be honest with you. But if they catch you, oh, you're done up. Done up. I'd it's rather like get the worse. feds at that point. But, but to get away, cartel. <sighs> I'll go to Iceland. I know they, they ain't, ain't going to fucking Iceland. They ain't touching me in that shit unless I did something really that bad. Yeah. They just searching yeah. the globe for my ass. But now the feds could really search the globe. The bro. feds would find you immediately. Like they probably just looking at you and they just toying with your ass. Mm-hmm. Just you just make you make bro, you go crazy have, a little they bit. They have eyes everywhere, bro. Mm-hmm. Again, with the whole government, bro. I promise you. I don't care how secure you think you are. They know where you are. I promise you. It's they either know everything be about you. you. Or they're going to get your mans and they're going to give them so much bread to set you up. Mm-hmm. It's just going to be I a whole shit the, show, There bro. is no limit to what the the, the, the FBI or whoever yeah, they could do. It's gonna do. They could do whatever the fuck they want. They have no jurisdiction. It doesn't matter. Nigga, all them niggas, bro. Everybody higher up, they can do whatever they, they want. Because think, they think, right? Because they have, let's say, they have a face. Let's say it's Obama, right? He's mm-hmm. the high to the high, right? You go, he can't do no wrong. He'll get in too much trouble, right? Mm-hmm. What do you think they do? They get people that... To do are, shit. There's, 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 there's no names for these niggas. Oh, there's yeah. There's people that are ghosted. Oh, They've yeah, been yeah, dead yeah. for however many years, and they're going to get them to do it. They have no shame. They don't have a name. They are not. They don't exist How many? You think, how many? You, you think they're really niggas that do that shit? Absolutely. I did, well, again, I'm just going off. Uh, fucking, uh, have you seen the new Netflix movie with uh, Ryan Gosling? and? Uh, Is that yeah. with Michael B. Jordan? No, no, it's with uh, Chris Evans, Captain America. What's it called? The Gray Man. No, I didn't watch that one. It's literally about fucking, they have this team called Sierra for, you know, uh, the FBI or whatever. Yeah. And they're no-name people. And they just go on. Oh, that's not tough. I ain't gonna lie. Doing the government's dirty work. Wow. So it's like soldiers that fake their own death and shit like that? Yeah, these people, like, yeah, so the main character, um, um, Sierra Six or whatever, yeah. he went to prison, they wiped his slate clean, he's dead, doesn't exist, no records, nothing, nowhere, you can't mm. find him. And they're trying to look for that nigga, so that's like the whole premise of the movie. Oh, okay. So you think, see, shit like that, that's what I'm saying, if you have money, people, y'all can do whatever y'all fucking want, bro. Just money, power, niggas, like, I feel like a lot of niggas, when they say... Like, maybe not a lot. A couple of the niggas, when they say they died, they just maybe just, like, just clean their record and just say they died just so they can have a new life. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Niggas probably walk around. We walk past as, like, fake dead type yeah. shit. Like, they fake their death. I heard there was, like, a group of kids that I think, like, fake their death or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, 100% possible. 
I don't bro. get facial reconstruction. Hell yeah! Like there was a I forgot there was a movie that there was a movie with Batista in it, and it was like in a stadium, a soccer stadium, and like it was like there was like a war going on between Russia, and it was like two brothers that was like it was like a revolution, and they the the oldest brother faked his death because if they would have kept the revolution, more people were going to die than he ever expected. So he had to fake his death for it to stop. Mm-hmm. And his younger brother went to prison. And the whole time, he he found out that his brother faked his death. So he's trying to find him to regroup and, like, build up the revolution again. Because, like, he, does, he didn't understand that they were killing more people than they were trying yeah. to save at the same time. But his brother realized, like, the only way that... Because the people loved them. But the yeah. only way that it was going to stop is if, like, I die. Yeah. So, like, I feel like a lot of people probably did that shit. That's... Yeah. Most of the people in CIA... That's why the CIA people, they always go for the niggas that's, um, like, in foster homes. That niggas that don't have... Not on the grid. Mm-hmm. Because, like, the CIA do hella top secret shit. If you don't have nobody to talk... Tell, no, tell nothing about, then you're, like, the perfect person for them, mm-hmm. nigga, bro. So... I don't know, my nigga. Dude, what else? What else do I gotta talk about, bro? Do I want to talk? Uh, I could. I could talk about this one thing, right? So, so people, I haven't done this in a while, bro. But I got some urban legends. But now we going outside the country. You know, I usually do it in the states. Yeah. So I, I have one because you went, you went to Japan like for a service and shit like that, right? So I got one in Japan. I don't know if you ever heard about this. They made a movie about it. It's called Teka Teka, right? Did you ever hear about that before? No, so like uh, people, if y'all know, if you're new to the channel, we do urban legends from around the globe. So comment your state, anything, country, now down below, and we're gonna talk about some urban legends. So there's a urban legend. Corey told me about this, right? It's called Teka Teka. So back in during World War II, there was a Japanese woman got raped by a, a American soldier, and like she, uh, I guess. Everything that had to deal with the color red, she was traumatized by it. She had PTSD, all that shit, was stressed out, depression, all that shit. Until one day, and like everything, she didn't, everything that her um, trauma happened was because of the color red. Something with red, because maybe like blood and shit like that. So one day she killed herself. She jumped off like a overhang for a a train, and the train split her in half. Mm. So the legend goes is that whoever goes through that path, and if they're wearing red, she would come and slice him, kill him, cut him in half. Literally anybody wearing red or even just going under the underpass. But say you're not wearing red. If you go under that underpass where she died, then she would she would appear. But if you don't look at her, then you're good. But she would she would oh then if you don't look at her, you're good. But if you look at her and you manage to escape, she will try to kill you. She's gonna come and kill you in three days. <laughs> like in those three days span, you're gonna die. So there's the movie so how the movie worked was I think a bunch of people started walking Do you know what it's called? Come and watch it. I think it's on YouTube. I got to ask Corey. I think oh, it might be. Oh, the ball. Yeah. Take it, take it. I'll find it. So, so the people didn't believe in the, the urban legend. So they will go walk under the underpass, you know, for our nighttime. And a lot of them was going missing, dying and shit. And this one girl, I guess her best friend got killed by the, by the ghost because mm. they went on a date and like she went by herself because she got mad. So she left and she got killed. They think she got hit by a train. But really, she got killed by a thing. So she went to go, um, you know, give her flowers and put it by the underpass. And she heard the noise. It was like, teka, teka, teka. Yeah. And then she knows she she got froze up. And she knows the story is like, you can't look at him. So she didn't look. But the thing was like right here, just waiting for her to look at her. So she didn't look at her. And then she went to go tell her friends. And her friends didn't believe her. So then they went back. I guess, I think it was her and her cousin. And the same thing, teka, teka, teka. And then uh, the fucking one of her cousins had red on, mm. and they was running away from the shit, and they was taking off all the red shit, everything red. They was taking it all off. They had a, they was driving in a red car. That shit was chasing after <laughs> them, no. freaking taking off everything. So they they drove there in a red car, but they was running away. So they was running away, taking off all the red stuff. But the one girl hit her head on a branch, uh. bleeding, sliced her ass up. And then the one girl, she's um. So after all that shit, she's like traumatized. She had to go into a mental hospital. But every time she sees red, like say somebody gives you like this thing right here. Yeah. Anything you have near you, she's going to come and kill you. Anytime somebody will give her red, she will be traumatized. Like in so the what, mental the, hospital. The new girl? Yeah, the new girl, mm-hmm. the one that escaped. Because 
she she escapes, so the thing is coming to kill her. Yeah. So like somebody will give her a Kit Kat. She like she'll be like mad scared, and like it shows like how that woman was when she got raped. Like yeah. how when she sees the color red, she's like traumatized. So it's like flipped onto like the new people. Like now people like when she's in the 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 fucking uh, hospital, somebody gives a rest, she starts going crazy and if she holds it, that motherfucker's outside circling the building trying to get in. Oh, fucking detective? Yeah. Ooh, I kind of want to watch that. That's kind of heat. Yeah, it's kind of tough. I like that conspiracy. It's kind of tough. It's pretty dope. I like that. I don't know about them urban legends. I, I be trying to, they be some shit in New Jersey. I don't know if I'm ever going to encounter some shit like that. Sometimes I want to, sometimes I don't. I be thinking like, there's a I, bunch of shit in New Jersey. Hell yeah, my nigga, like the fucking Jersey devil shit, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that though. That might be a stretch. They, but they've been telling us that shit since like middle school. That shit's gotta be fake, nigga. The the, the fucking deer person. It's thing. like a it's like a goat. Yeah. The the whole story talking about being born, the motherfucking uh, lady birthed the goat. It was like yeah. the devil. I don't know about all that shit, bro. I don't think so. But hey, bro, I be thinking. I mean, didn't, didn't you tell me like you don't believe in, like the paranormal shit? Uh, I want to, right? I'd be crazy to think it doesn't exist, but again, I haven't encountered anything, so yeah. I just refuse to believe it at the moment. I don't want to. Again, yeah, I don't, I don't want, want to see to a ghost. Either, I don't want to see nothing paranormal, but I haven't, so I'm not going to really too put too much effort to thought into it. You know what I'm saying? I understand. I understand. Uh, but do you, do you have anything else you want to talk about, my brother? Uh, you got no. anything? Because I, I think that's all I got for the day. Shout out to you again for pulling for another right, episode, of course, my brother. Thank you for having me. Love you know to what be I'm here. saying? If y'all haven't already, follow all the socials down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And the next couple of episodes, we're going to, we got a couple of good episodes coming up because we're going on a year strong, a straight podcast, a year of podcast. I never would have thought, bro. Shout out to you crazy to be on. Nuts. We're about to start doing clothing soon. I'm really this close. Don't worry, people. I be saying I'm this close. I'm really this close. <laughs> I just have to make the website. That's all I got to do. Everything will be published. Everything's going to be shipped out. It's all good, bro. Don't worry. This, I'm going to put it in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord, bro. Like we was talking about For before. Real. But don't come in with some bullshit because we is going to flame. See your scams, nigga. I will fry your shit. Don't. This is not no pyramid scheme. We don't do no forex. <laughs> not with that shit. <laughs> Platinum six hundred. Not with that shit, bro. Fuck all that. But um, does anything else? Anything else you want to say, brother? Uh nah. Just keep on supporting the channel. Y'all are fucking crazy. I didn't know we were at two K or oh, but we were at two K YouTube, right? Yeah. Two K on fucking YouTube. Last time I checked, it was fifty, but that was a while ago. But still, fucking crazy numbers. Crazy numbers on TikTok. Keep on fucking doing your thing. And please hit up the members. Trust it makes us feel fucking great, and that we're doing something entertaining for you. Exactly. Shout out, y'all, man. We different than regular no records, man. Gangsta. I'm going ready to go get it. Yeah. I'm going ready to go get it. Yeah.